In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the darkness, God said, let there be light, and there was light. Soon after, God created man in his own image. But now, today, man has created something better, something far more intelligent than himself. Man created, artificial intelligence. What exactly is artificial intelligence, and when did we humans actually start fantasizing about being able to create these sorts of things through digital technology? Follow along in the video where we will go through the history of AI and where we are today. Because if there's one thing artificial intelligence does, it's processing historical data to be able to develop the future, so the same goes for us. Before we continue on our journey of the exciting history behind AI, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release new interesting content. Let's go! AI is intelligence perceiving, synthesizing, and deriving information. Currently, AI has become very good at speech recognition, computer vision, translation between languages, as well as mapping and analyzing data. Since the release of GPT-3, the development of AI's speech and language skills has transformed tremendously, and soon, soon we will probably not be able to hear whether it's an AI speaking, or a real human being. Today, most people come into contact with AI on a daily basis, using systems like Google, YouTube, Amazon, Netflix, and others, and also when we talk to Siri or Alexa, or Google Home. Tesla has come a long way in integrating AI in their cars, and we also know that today's computers are better than us at chess, and the popular ancient board game Go. During the first half of 2021, researchers also managed to create an AI that was so good at driving cars in video games, that the world's best video game rally drivers had a hard time beating the computer-controlled car. If we look at history, as early as 1956, People have since worked hard to succeed in developing advanced AI technology, and over the years several waves of optimism have both come and gone, and many are disappointed that they have not come as far as they had hoped. Artificial intelligence research has tried and rejected many different approaches, but it was until in the early 21st century that development of machine learning actually began, and with help of mathematical calculations, machine learning has dominated the field. The technology has been so successful that it has been used to solve many challenging problems within both the industrial and the academic world. The traditional goals of AI research include reasoning, knowledge representation, planning, learning, natural language processing, perception, and the ability to move and manipulate objects. Creatures created by man, and somehow also given their own consciousness and intelligence, have appeared in many mythological stories since ancient times, and have been common in fiction since Mary Shelley's book Frankenstein was released. Even during the 19th century, questions about the ethics of artificial intelligence began to be discussed. Today, many also question man playing God. Alan Turing, English mathematician, computer scientist and cryptoanalyst, born in 1912, had a theory where he concluded that one only needed zeros and ones to simulate any mathematical deduction, came to be known as the Church-Turing thesis, and while coming up it, discoveries were also made in neurobiology, information theory and cybernetics. Researchers saw the possibility of being able to build an electronic brain. The first work widely recognized as AI, was McCulloch and Pitt's formal design for artificial neurons in 1943. During the 1960s and 1970s, several researchers were convinced that symbolic approaches would eventually succeed in creating a machine with artificial intelligence. Researcher Herbert Simon, predicted even then, that machines would be able, within 20 years, to do any work that a human can do. Computer scientist Marvin Minsky agreed, saying that within a generation, the problem of creating artificial intelligence will be solved. After making great progress in the subject from the 1950s until the early 1970s however, progress began to slow down. This was mostly due to the American and British governments cutting off all funding in developing AI. Ten years later, AI research started to get going again, as many saw the benefits of technology in several commercial areas, 
and how humans could start using this to their own advantage, developing skills at analyzing data of different sorts. Japan's researchers inspired the US and UK governments to restart research into AI, however, this only lasted until 1987, when interest in supporting this research disappeared yet again, and it became difficult for researchers to obtain funding to continue developing digital technology. At the end of the 1990s, things started to reach the surface once more, and in the beginning of the 21st century, AI research started to increase in popularity again. Now scientists and programmers started to develop the technology that would be what we call machine learning, rather than artificial intelligence. As computers became faster and as development and knowledge around algorithms increased, and the access to data enabled great progress in machine learning, Together with deep learning on a technical level, things started to really take off and great progress was made. Up until 2015, where many experts claimed they had reached a big milestone, humans had gone from sporadic use of machine learning by many large technology companies in 2012, to being used in almost all projects in 2015. Meanwhile, there was also an increase around the neural networks due to an uplift in the infrastructure for cloud computing and research tools, as well as data collection. If you look at how many research reports were written during 2015 and 2019, you can see how these increased by 50%. Up until today, great progress has been made, and we now find ourselves on the edge of seeing a society where machines and robots are completely autonomous, and can perform advanced tasks and make their own decisions based on what they are programmed to do. Before 2028, we will find self-driving cars as natural as owning a smartphone. Customer service and service jobs will within the next 10 years be replaced by technical solutions, and analyzes of numbers will be done better by a programmed AI rather than a human. Some even predict us having our own personal AI robots in our homes, helping us run errands, do chores and go grocery shopping. But the question is, how far away are we to creating an AI with its very own consciousness, and will this then be the last form of digital technology and artificial intelligence we humans will make? Will this be the end of Homo sapiens as we will need to integrate with a new form of intelligence to be able to even survive if AI takes over the world? Philosopher and transhumanist Nick Bostrom has stated several times that a conscious AI will be man's last invention. Entrepreneur Elon Musk has said that humans will need to integrate and become a new form of superhuman to prevent becoming AI's pet. What do you think? Comment your thoughts on AI and what you think will happen within the next 10 years. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, see you next time.